वेलकम टू बीएनडी गोरखास नेपाली ओरल हिस्ट्री प्रोजेक्ट कुड यू प्लीज टेल अस समथिंग अबाउट योर बैकग्राउंड्स योर नेम योर इंट्रोडक्शन इन फैक्ट राइट वेल थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर दिस इंटरव्यू आ माय नेम इज मान बहादुर राय फ्रॉम ईस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ नेपाल भोजपुर पांगचा आई वाज बोर्न एंड ब्रेड इन दैट एरिया एंड नाउ आई लिव इन Kumalta, Lalitpur, Nepal, and currently I'm living in Grace, Essex. Uh, you living with your whole family, yes. or yes, I do. Yeah. I have my whole families and three children. Uh, I'm living with them. Could you please tell us something about your journey coming from Nepal to here? Right. Uh, I was. I'm actually ex British Army. I joined in in the British Army in 1985 in Hong Kong. Uh, and I shop 15 years in the British Army and when I retired in t- 2000 and then I came to here in the UK and living now in 10 years in in the UK. Uh, did you find any difficulties being in army or as a civilian? What is the difference you will see in your life here? Right, how do you define it actually? If you feel something you know different so that you feel different but I feel it's okay. Uh, when I was in the army, I feel uh, I enjoyed it. I feel sometimes very hard, but I don't feel that much hard in even in civil uh, civil life here. Uh, first time when uh, I joined here, uh, I came in uh, in UK. Then I feel struggling uh, for for the first time because I didn't know anything else, uh, any kind of job, you know, uh, relation with the f- uh, with the public. That was a difficult first time. Uh, It's not. It, it's very different than uh, than army army life because army life is is straight away we got you know uh, guided by somebody else. But uh, in the civilian field, it is guided yourself. So how do you guide yourself? How do you mm. uh, you know feel confident yourself? So that's the most important here. So first time for the first time, I was quite I felt difficult here because of job prospect and. Uh, Difficult to find a job, even difficult to find uh, uh, houses, rent, whatever it is. It was quite difficult first time. So I uh, eventually I got the job anyway. But I feel now I am I'm, I'm trying to forget everything. But it was difficult for for the first time when I came UK. <laughs> yeah, talking about yeah. the ha- houses, uh, when um, the, when people are in service army, they have lots of facilities. Uh, for, no, let's say for pre houses and all these things. And we have been heard that uh, it's a quite hard when you are being civilian and renting house is quite difficult. Uh, what is your experience? Yes, it's actually that in in army life there is the nothing to pay actually. It's paid by everything government, MOD. But when I come here, I have to pay everything. I have to t- we have to take out all money from pocket. You know that's the different here. And uh, uh, find a job and get some money and pay for everything and pay for bill, mortgage, rent. And everything, what you use, like mobile phone, what what you feel, what uh, what food you actually eat, and uh, your expenses are so many. So that's the different here. So at the end, when I when well, what I earn uh, every day and every month is gone by by fast at the end. Mm. Did you ever <laughs> regret to coming this country? Absolutely not, uh, because this is is good opportunity here for ex Gurkha Army. Uh, we haven't had it before, a uh, kind of opportunity here. Uh, but later, when the ex Gurkha Army, ex service, ex servicemen, uh, fight for their right, and then we got a chance to come here actually. But if I would say that uh, I didn't get, we didn't get any chance to come here as a as a visitor. Mm. But uh, maybe you don't know that people don't know that when we try here to come here. We were not allowed to come here, but uh, when the ex Gorkha Army servicemen has you know uh, fight for the right for our right, then we got chance to come here since two thousand nineteen ninety five. No, I'm sorry, not nineteen ninety five. It's two thousand seven. Two thousand no two thousand four around. So we allowed to come here since two thousand five. So. It's great opportunity anyway. If you uh, want to, if you want to learn something, if you want to do something better, 
say it's a good opportunity here. I'm not regret if I can do something better. Yes, I can do everything, whatever, whatever I want to do. So even my children, everybody can do everything. Did you feel that local community they are accepting very well uh, as a Gurkha or any new new migrant people? Do you have an encounter any kind of experiences with local community? Right, uh, this is absolutely yes because the local community uh, the people accept and they are very proud of with us because when they didn't know the people you know publicity. Uh, the public people didn't know before that the, who are the who are, who, who are the Gorkhas. Only the person knew that who are the Gorkhas. The only you know uh, where there is an army base. Only the people knew that who are the Gorkhas. But the people of the Britain didn't know that who are the Gorkhas. So when we come here, they were surprised first time. You know uh, who are these guys? You know it looks different. Uh, not Chinese, not Thailand, not Filipino, or whatever but we were first time was struggling here because the youngster people used to say you know bad words like naughty naughty words like you know kind of things dbd chinky everything we face it when we tried to solve everything but it was happened everything like try to fight try to you know uh you know you know kind of bad behavior is to show us in in the park in the road wherever it is but now it's very it's it's everything solved now so i think it's now feeling better uh getting better so every public know that who are the gokhas actually so did you mean when uh you guys arrived this country though you are gokhas but the young people they have have had difficulties to yeah, exactly. adopt the new life yes yeah. but they are getting much better now it is much better now uh, i haven't seen anything else nowadays if you you can we go we can walk freely we can talk freely uh, we can there, there's no we don't have to tell the people we are the Gorkhas so obviously they know that who are the Gorkhas here uh, so we have any problem at all since you are active member in the Nepalese community in a grace could you please tell us something about uh, TGNC and community Right, TNGC means the Thorok Nepalese Gorkha Community. Uh, it is. It was formed in 19. Uh, sorry, 2006. I was a. I was a founder member, and uh, and I work uh, as a uh, as a member of this community. And then I was as a, uh, a chairman of the youth community. And uh, I will now I'm working actively working with communities as an advisor. So we form this community to integrate between the, our community and the external community, uh, so that we can you know convey all our uh, message to all you know, British people and other communities. Uh, so we are doing this community as a as a whole now is doing good job so you are integrating very well with many stream society as well yes and what other uh, things you are guys doing uh, any um, language uh, literatures any cultural aspects anything community members doing oh, oh yes we do uh, when we used to that you know kind of uh, like a cultural program and when we run the program, so absolutely we call our other communities to join us, and we invite all uh, um, high dignitaries to come and join us. Like we do celebrate uh, two times, three times uh, a year, like uh, Great Festival of Nepal, Tiha, New Year, and come kind of, kind of you know summer barbecue, and. We work together, and uh, when there is a main event is being held somewhere else, so mm. they expect us to show our culture uh, and to to show our you know uh, our solidarity to to, to with, with other peoples. So we are doing this, and we are still continue doing this job with with other community. That means not only 
TNGC holding three main events during a year, but at the same time, you are bridging gap between yes. other going yes. groups and promoting Nepalese culture yes, exactly. as well. We are, yes, exactly. Yeah. This is the main purpose of this, our community, you know. So we always can keep contact with other peoples, other communities, and other external communities. So In terms of youth program, do you guys have any other future future events or future planning and a project, anything? Uh, yeah, we are trying this. We are trying to involve our uh, generation, our children, so to involve in any kind of charity work, any kind of, you know, uh, how to build their own, uh, you know, their, their motivation between mm -hmm. the young youth people. So we are trying our best to like to innovate to the peoples, you know, mm. to, to upgrade our you know, society. Anyway. As a being a parent, uh, what is your point of view? Uh, like always Nepalese parents, they prefer their son or daughter should be go uh, high education, um, doctors, engineers. Do you have any particular uh, your emphasis your children should be or you, you are uh, what? How you express as yeah. a parent? Every parent should say that, everybody. Yeah, everybody uh, should say, you know, you should be learned, uh, you should be read, you should behave yourself nicely, as yes, we do expect. And we are trying our best to, uh, to do kind of, you know, high, higher education uh, to, the, uh, to our children. But unfortunately, we can't say that's given by the God, you know, given by our their nature or whatever. But we are trying our best uh, to being as a, you know, uh, higher education to take higher education here. Uh, yeah, some uh, our children is doing well, mm, but not everybody actually. But some people are some of our children doing good job. Would you like to say anything? Uh, would you like to cover? And would you like to say anything else? Uh, yeah, it is very important program you 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 have me today. It is very important and it's very uh, like. It's my first time anyway. It's very thank you very much, and I would say it is very uh, what I'm trying to say is yeah. Well, let's 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 put it this way. Yeah, the Gorkhas are here. The the Gorkhas are here uh, just because of their right. We fight for the right. Uh, we are being treated. Uh, so many years, like it's now 200 years, we are being treated as a mercenary. And we don't like to be like that. Mm. We are here from our government. And now what we are, what the government is doing is for us is they are treating like other foreign, foreigners. So they are not trying us our, or they are not trying to give us a citizen what they have, what we have kept. So we want to keep our citizen as it is, and we want our citizen uh, to give our children as well, because we are Nepalese. We are Nepalese. We are, for, and we are forever Nepalese. We won't be here. I won't be here as an English. Uh, whatever I speak English, but I won't be English. I would say. So. I want the government to to recognize we are not a foreigner. We are not like what the government treat other people. We are government. Uh, we are the, we are the soldier of this country. So we like to be be uh, treat like a British, but we are not a British. But we are Nepali, but we want, we don't want being treated as a foreigner. Right? At the end, I would like to thank you all. It's, it's a very great opportunity for me. It is my first time, whatever it is. And thank you very much for your having me. Thank you so much for your time. We really much appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.